All right, got the root sweater representing Canada. Also, you can tell I'm a real YouTuber when we got the pajama pants and also the slippers. So here we go. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, as you can probably tell by the title, I finally got my placement result from uh, for the JET program from my consulate. And just as a little bit of an aside, um, you might notice from my previous video um, that we have the Tsum Tsums in the back again, just because, um, you know, one second, I'm just gonna adjusted a tiny bit just so we're not completely out of shot. There we go. Anyways, we have the Zoom Tunes back. Um, they're probably in a different location from last time because um, this is basically a um, dining room, so I kind of remove them and then put them back when I need to make a video just because I feel weird leaving them here in this specific placement. <laughs> also, I really hope at some point in the future to have an actual um, background to make videos at some point, hopefully when, when, once I'm in Japan and settled down. Um, currently I'm just trying to give away all the stuff I don't need um, in preparation to move to Japan because I'm really trying to cut it down to just one big luggage and also um, like a small carry-on luggage. So pretty much I don't want to have a lot of extra stuff. So we're gonna have to deal with the Tsum Tsums for a little bit, <laughs> okay? Um, anyways, um, yeah, so I'll just uh, jump right into it. So I finally got my placement result. Um, it's now May 22nd as I'm filming this. I just got it today. Um, there were definitely a few people that did get their placements, I think starting May 15th. I think a lot of people got their placements on the 15th. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't quite remember because I have the worst memory in the world, <laughs> but um, a lot of people did get their results on around the May, May 15th. There's several people from Canada that actually got their placements also. Um, a lot of people from the US, from Australia, that type of thing. So finally, after the long weekend, because we had a long weekend from Friday to Monday, it's now Tuesday today, finally got the placements. So I'm really excited to announce that my placement is in, um, it's at Anaka City and Gunma Prefecture. Um, I'm happy that I actually got the, um, my, my city name right away because I know that there's some people out there that only received their prefecture and they're still waiting to hear what specific city they're living in. Um, so I do know that I am living, I'm going to be living in Anaka, she is called, so I believe she is the, the, is it called the suffix for city. Um, it's a little bit of a smaller city, I believe there's about 60,000 people, so it's not tiny, it's just not huge either. Um, one thing I did notice while I'm doing a little bit of research, uh, I was at work all day today, so I haven't really um, dove too far into research. I just wanted to really make this video because I'm excited to let everyone know. <laughs> um, so I went, I noticed that Anaka is about an hour and a half drive from Tokyo, which is really good because I was hoping I would live near somewhere near a bigger city so that I could go maybe travel to on the weekend. Um, of course, I do want to see more than just Tokyo while I'm in Japan, but it would be really great if I could have a, some sort of hub to go to if I really need to try to shop around for specific items of clothing, maybe. Um, Tokyo would be, I think, really useful to have nearby in terms of that type of thing. Um, and I also discovered that there's a Shinkansen station in my city in, a, in Anaka, so I'm really happy <laughs> that I can, it seems like there's decent uh, public transport from Anaka to Tokyo. Um, so that's really great. Uh, even though I, I can drive, uh, I probably will never want to drive towards or into Tokyo. <laughs> Just because um, to me, Vancouver is a big city. I currently live in Victoria, but to me, Vancouver is a big city and that stresses me out to drive through. So I really don't want to drive through Tokyo if, if possible. <laughs> so even if I have a car in Anaka, I am pretty sure I'm going to be taking some sort of other public transportation to go to Tokyo. 
Um, anyways, a few other things I noticed so far is it seems like Anaka is pretty much right in the middle of Japan. <laughs> when I was looking at maps of where exactly it was in the country, um, it's pretty much like in the middle of the country in terms of like not being on the east or west coast. It's like right in the middle of the country. And also it's like from north to south, it's about the middle of the country <laughs> because it's just, it's about an hour and a half um, west of Tokyo. So it's not like super north, it's not super south either. I'm not sure if Anaka is like infamously the, the middle of Japan. There might be another city that claims to be the center of Japan if there even is. But at least from like a distance, like zooming all the way out so you can see the whole country on a, on a big picture, <laughs> it pretty much looks like I'm right in the middle of Japan, which is one of the funny things that I noticed right away. Um, but it's also, it could also be really good because that means I'm pretty much halfway to whatever point in Japan that I want to go to. So if I want to go to Hokkaido, then I'm like halfway across the country to Hokkaido, or if I want to go to Okinawa, then I'm, then I'm pretty much halfway there also from where I'm living. So hopefully that does pan out. I haven't really researched like the travel costs or anything like that. So. I really hope that works out and it's not too too expensive to travel outside of Anaka because at this point it seems like um, pretty much the only train that goes to Tokyo is the Shinkansen. There's not really a smaller train that kind of connects you to Tokyo to my understanding. Correct me if I'm wrong because I, it's in my opinion it's a little bit difficult to find information about Anaka. Probably because it's a smaller city and maybe not a lot of people know about it. Um, trying to think of what else I want to say. Oh, one thing I did notice is that there's a Costco about half an hour away, half an hour away from Onaka. <laughs> so if I'm really craving uh, some Western food, then I can either rent a car if I don't have a car, or maybe if more, maybe I own a car, so I'll just drive to Costco about 30 minutes away. I'm not sure if I don't remember what city it's in. I know the Costco isn't in Anaka. I think it's in the neighboring city. Um, don't remember exactly what it's called at this point. I might put like a, a, a text of what the city is called or maybe a picture or something like that. Um, and I will do my best to also include some sort of picture or map in this video, but I apologize in advance if there isn't any because I'm still figuring out editing software and also I'm working with free software. So maybe it because it's free it doesn't let you do a lot of different stuff, but I'm going to try to figure that out. Um, anyways, I believe that's about it. I don't think there's anything else I want to say at this point because I am still researching into my city, so I'm not exactly sure. Um, what else is out there for me? <laughs> uh, all I understand is that it's a little bit of a newer sort of city. To my understanding, it was built in the 1890s-ish. Um, and it's kind of an industrial city that seems to have a lot of old trains or something like that to transport different products across Japan, to my understanding. Um, again, I really only put in probably in total about 20 minutes of basic research just to kind of get an idea of where I'm living. Um, but yeah, I think for now I'll leave it here. Um, I might make another video about my, um, about Anaka before I leave for Japan, depending on what I find out and my preparation and that type of thing. Um, so I think I'll leave on this note. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Um, if you happen to be a current jet, maybe leave a comment, let me know. Um, if you are living in Gunma Prefecture in general, maybe shoot a comment to me as well. I, I really love to hear from you guys and also at this point I haven't really been able to find anyone else that lives in Gunma. Maybe they just haven't seen a few other posts I've made, um, for example on Reddit or Facebook or anything like that. Um, but I really don't know what I'm getting myself into. <laughs> so if anyone has any information about Gunma, that would be really great to pass on to me. Um, but anyways, I'll leave it here. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.